everyone. My name is Jacob, and I'm an engineer at Langchain. Alongside our exciting launch of Langchain 0.2.0 today, we've shipped a reworked documentation site for both the Python and JavaScript open source libraries. We hope it'll help you find the most relevant information more easily, whether you're a Langchain newbie or a pro looking for guidance on deeper functionality. Let's take a minute to walk through the new structure. As you can see, the sidebar is now greatly simplified with only a few major sections that we intend to more closely align with DITAXI's principles. I'll go into detail on a few of these now. First off, our tutorial section is intended to give a walkthrough of some of the most popular Langchain use cases and are nice starting points for beginners who want to get a broad sense of what you can build with the framework. You can see individual sections on agents, extraction, and of course, retrieval augmented generation. The idea here is that by the end of a tutorial, you'll have a simple working version of a Langchain use case. They do cover a lot of different concepts, as you can see, but they aren't intended to be deep dives on any particular one. Specifics fall under the purview of the next section, how-to guides, which you can see here. These are sorted by concept, as you can see in the right-hand sidebar, and contain more in-depth and specific information on various Langchain features. And while you can read them order, they're definitely geared towards folks who know what they're looking for, maybe or have already built something. For example, let's say you've built an initial version of your Langchain app, but now want to add token usage tracking to more accurately um, track your costs. You could go to this page, then search for something like token usage, and immediately get taken to a page answering your question. And this is one of our specific how-to guides here. You can see you go check the response metadata field from the response messages, different examples for different providers, and other alternative approaches you could take. Cool. So then there's our new conceptual guides, which contain broader explanations of Langchain concepts and how they fit together. Package architecture, different modules. For example, this would be a place that you could go if you wanted to learn um, the difference between a chat model and an LLM in Langchain. So again, chat model here. And I can see that chat models take a sequence of messages input, return chat messages as output instead of uh, plain text, while LLMs take string as input and return a string. There's sections for the various parts of the Langchain ecosystem. I won't go into too much detail there, but there's um, you can read more about the other frameworks and pieces that Langchain provides. And then our API references are still in the top bar, and we've made an effort to lean on them more throughout the code base to reduce the amount of outdated examples around the docs. And they have different sections for the different Langchain packages, as well as partner libraries too. Integrations are still in their normal spot as well, and you can get a deeper dive into different modules and different integrations uh, for third parties that integrate with Langchain. So that about wraps it up. And as a final note, uh, this is not the end. We and the community as a whole want to continue to work hard at improving both the content and structure of the docs as Langchain continues to grow. So for more about the refactor and the accompany, um, you can learn more about the refactor rather in the accompanying blog post. And if you have any feedback or suggestions, we'd love for you to leave it in the GitHub discussion link in the uh, banner here. Thank you all for listening and happy hacking.